Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. Uh, Mike here at Weeby Autos. Today we have a killer 1964 Ford F100 short box. I got uh, Dave here, he's gonna tell us a little bit about him. Man, what a truck, Dave. Yeah, thank you so much. It's a, uh, it's pro-built. Yeah. It's a, um, has a 455 Buick, a fresh motor, uh, turbo 400 transmission, just rebuilt. Cool. A little stall and in there, shift kit? No, it has a shift kit in it, okay. uh, stock converter. Uh, but new drive shaft, Chevy rear end, uh, uh, Camaro front end. And what we did yeah. is we welded in <clears throat> uh, at Legro Motors, we built the uh, truck initially, yeah. and then we freshened it all up. There's zero rust, no dents, and a real sound body. Yeah. Um, it's clean, we did put a lot into it, new glass, bumpers, um, Wheels are, are powder coated gray and then cleared mm -hmm. with a clear powder coat. That's great. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, super reliable power steering, power brakes, tilt wheel, uh, air. Yeah. Uh, and it was a kind of a blank check uh, build. Yeah, I could see that. So <laughs> it's finished in a modern color. I think you said left yeah, foot gray, uh, right? I think it's a Chrysler color, Destroyer. Destroyer. Destroyer gray. I yeah. Think. Challenger color. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Could be. We had it pinstriped. It was um, uh, painted in uh, Ron Conkmer, a pinstriper. I forget his name. Very, very talented guy. Very cooperative. And he did the dash. It's a custom dash in it. Cool. Um, yeah, a lot did. of nice touches. Looks yeah. like you powder coated the grill up front. Mm -hmm. All new lenses. This pinstriping is killer. Yeah. yeah. Crazy how those guys could just whip it up with the right correct, hand, right? Correct. And and again too, it's a it's a practical truck. It was built for a uh, again too it was going to be like an everyday driver. It's your pro touring kind of. Yeah, and then you don't use it. You know, you, <laughs> oh yeah, we'll get this and we'll use it to go to Home Depot and pick up a bag of cement. <laughs> uh, nothing's gone in this other than a box of tissues. Yeah. It always uh, happens, right? Oh, of course, of course. But oh. it's a um, it's a short bed. Um, has uh, uh, custom rails on it. Um, did the the interior bed liner? This is novel. This is a marine product that we put in here for tie downs. Oh, cool. So there are four of those in the event that. Oh, if you go to a car show and you have uh, folding chairs, you want to put a bunch yeah. across them so they don't bounce around Time the down. slide. Yeah, and she is as new, a, new, as, new. As a, oh, yeah, it is new, new, new. Yeah, looks and like the hitch has never been used. <laughs> the, the, oh, the hitch has never been used, and I'm so uh, crazy with that. The previous one that was on there had a little touch of rust. Yeah. So uh, we placed it was as a new spare underneath Cool. with a custom carrier. Um, Love the rear sliding window, too. That's a yeah. nice touch. Yep. Interesting interior, too. Yeah, you can take a peek. Yeah. Uh, it has, a, it's a custom there. She did a nice job striking it. The console is from a, as the drivetrain, was from a Buick Riviera. That is cool. And we kept that. Uh, Jeeps are from a uh, newish Jeep. I think uh, like a 2020. I don't know if it's a Jeep Liberty. Uh-huh. Okay. But, uh... New dash. Yeah, I love uh, the stitched in dash. Speakers, Pretty cool. Door panels, uh, handles. Vintage gauges, too. Video. Yeah. yeah. They almost look like remnants of like uh, aircraft gauges, it you know, be. back in the day. Yeah, it could be. Pretty neat. But, yeah, full uh, gauges, too. Let me fire it up. Yeah. Custom stereo, door panels, you name it. Love the Halibrand style wheels, too. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Cool interior. Sounds like a uh, like a motorboat with a big block Chevy in it. <laughs> yeah, I noticed a know. dual exhaust with cherry bombs. Yep, yep. It has really cool. Full stainless exhaust, you know, from the from the manifolds on back. Stainless bufflers, stainless yeah. tips, stainless pipes. Wow. Uh, Oh, is that mirror winder then? That's a uh, yep. automatic dimming with yes. a mirror? Mm -hmm. Very cool. Let's check out under the hood. 
Okay. Why? Okay. There she is. So here. 455. It's a 455 can. Buick. Our steering and, power brakes. Uh, and we did when we did the when we took all this out, we did we powder coated the inner fender wells in a bronze color, a custom battery box we built. Uh, and we have we did a side mounted. We built this over here. Cool. That's uh, interesting. It's good, yeah. And cut we had a lot of custom pieces made. Um, but again, too, the, the big plus here is plenty of power. Very, the Buick is one thing with Buick. Very torquey, very right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Low end stuff is tremendous. Cool. But, um, yeah, as I said, uh, very nicely done. Here. Yeah, it's, pr it's a pretty neat thing. Cool. Well, so, guys, uh, thanks for joining us today. Again, my name is Mike from Weeby Autos. Dave, thank you so much yeah, for showing us your truck a today. It's a pleasure. It's and a pleasure. Stay okay. well. If you guys have any questions at all, give us a shout at 631-339-0399. And you can check out about 200 pictures I took today on the website, weebyautos.com. Thanks a lot.